tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Started with animation. Today I'll talk about melanin and hair color. This is uh, the melanin pigment, a file uploaded to Wikipedia Commons by Nephron. Thank you very much. And there are probably other photographs he did, yeah, but this is the one we're interested in. This is uh, the real thing. Melanin, let's pronounce it. Melanin. Is from Greek. Melas, black, dark, is a broad term for a group of natural pigments found in most organisms, and especially in hair. And you find uh, this article in different languages, for example, in uh, Korean. Same image, and uh, you can translate it into, into English if you like. Everything is possible right here. So, uh, so this is melanin, and we want to search for melanin in hair in Maya because Maya creates hair, does it not? Yes, it does. So here we're in Maya, and we'll create some hair. Actually, we don't create it from scratch. You need to go to FX first, and under N hair, you find get hair example. Let's click here. And we choose any one of these, for example, the, oh, this one here. Double click it and it lands in the scene all right. Of course, we can't render it with Arnold at this stage because there's no light in the scene, but we'll create some light, uh, an area light which sits here in the center of the scene. It points this direction, so we need to turn it around. We tilt it a little bit, we scale it up quite a bit and move it a little bit to the top. Now when you uh, uncheck normalize here it gets brighter uh, illuminating the scene more drastically. Uh, from experience I know that intensity could be 3 and exposure could be 1 and uh, so it looks pretty bright here in the in the icon already and now when you render it this is what you get. This is the hair. It's probably a little bit too bright. When you um, deal with shading, you need an environment. That's pretty obvious because it just looks more uh, inviting to look at. Let's create a box here. Scale the box up quite a bit. And with the right mouse button, go to um, Face and delete a couple of faces. In this case, I'll just delete those two. So the hair is in the box now. Right mouse click, go back to object mode and I move the box slightly up, not the hair, sorry. The box, like this. And now I select the hair, press the key F in order to jump to it and now I render it again. So this looks much better now with this box and the shadows here. It takes a little bit longer to render though. So we need a little bit less light, I guess. Um, so let's go back here, set the exposure to zero. So this looks better now. Maybe we can, could use a second light. You can do it just as you like. Um, where is the hair color now? We were talking about melanin. Uh, where is melanin? But let's talk about the color in general first. Well, um, here in the outliner you have uh, several nodes which have to do with um, our hair. For example, this node here is the bun forehead hair constraint. Uh, so it basically it's the head. It's the geometry of the head where the hair is planted onto. Uh, if you close this and open this one, you have here the bun forehead hair system. And that's the hair system we're interested in really. In the uh, attribute editor, you can search for the color now. And is the color here? Yes, it is. It's under 
bun forehead hair system shape one. It's a it's a shape thing, and here you probably see like this. You can open the section of sh for shading, and uh, under shading you find the hair color. And if you color the hair, for example, want to color it blue, you get this. The whole hair gets blue. And uh, you can create a ramp if you like. From white to black. And this is the color you get then. For example, go to green here and you give a, have a green tint for the hair going from green to white. But there's nothing said about melanin here. So why is that? Because the standard shader Maya provides with the hair is not as nearly as sophisticated as the shader, uh, the hair shader in Arnold. How do we apply the Arnold hair shader? I guess there's only one really straightforward way and that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Let's close uh, all sections here and down here in the same uh, hair system shape one you have uh, the Arnold section it's down here and you think that there's all there is primary visibility etc uh, but no there's an interesting field here it's called the hair shader so here you can enter the Arnold hair shader let's do this right away um, we select Arnold here and we type in hair and we get one entry here, the AI hair shade of standard hair. Let's click on it. And nothing changes here. And why is that? Even if we rerun the simulation, update the whole scene, it's still that green because, and this is, I think, it's an interface fault. Uh, sh this should be made more easy for the user. You go back here. That's where we just came from, where we entered the AI standard hair here. And right above it is override hair. That means, dear Arnold hair shader, override the Maya hair, override the green hair. And still nothing changes. Now you have to refresh the rendering or update the whole scene is probably better. And now, at last, you see the Arnold hair, hair shader at work. It already looks much better, I think, much more realistic than the default shader of Maya. Look at this, for example. We could get closer to it, but uh, I don't want to re-render it now. Where is melanin? Let's go here again. And here you see melanin. Melanin melanin and these three entrances here the melanin entrances are much more important in the Arnold standard hair shader than the base color so don't touch the base color for a while just play with a melanin a melanin setting of one means a full black hair and that's what you see in this rendering now a melanin of zero means what we all get when we get older, white hair. Let's move the slider all the way to the back. And this melanin value gives you all kinds of colors which you see in humans. It takes a while to render, of course. Um, what we can do now is we close this window and we go to in the viewport to render and activate Arnold. That's the kind of we need to check this here, uh, kind of real-time rendering here. So we can navigate in the scene now and get a little bit closer, for example, while Arnold refreshes the rendering. Let's um, go back to black. Rendering takes a couple of seconds only, but I fast forward the renderings here just a little bit. But this is just amazingly beautiful hair with just one light in the scene. When we reduce the melanin amount from 1 to, say, 0 0.89, we get a little bit of red in the hair now. A red tint.
Now I'll reduce the melanin amount from 9 to, well, say 6. You get brown reddish sort of hair. And you see how the hair plays with the light or the light plays with the hair. There's only one light source from this side. Let's raise the intensity to 0 0.4. If you lose the melanin here in the attribute editor, go back to your hair system and here under the visibility of the Arnold section, it's the Arnold section, you find the hair shader again, you click here and then you're back to the color and the melanin. Let's reduce the melanin to four and you almost get blonde hair or light brown hair. Now let's go further down to the blonde hair and this is all done with just this melanin value here from 0 to 1 because it simulates the pigment behavior of the natural melanin molecules. You can play with the redness, you can randomize the melanin, you can play with the roughness and the index of refraction here of the hair and uh, many other things here in Arnold Hair but I just wanted to show you how to get there and just to recap the whole thing here is the way to go. You select the hair system here, it's under the hair all node. With this selected you go down to the Arnold section. Under hair shader you click on the check checkerboard icon which is here before you actually click on it. Choose the AI standard hair shader and then you go back here and check this box here. Override Maya hair, basically that's what it means. And then you need to refresh the render. Here, go to Arnold Render and update the full scene. And finally back to Wikipedia. If you are familiar with the topic and you think that for example in Gaelic the article is too thin, it has no image, then please enter the information. If you're knowledgeable in this language, the Netherlands uh, article is longer, but it's much less long than the English one. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.